Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Choices. That's what we're going to be talking today. Choices. We choose how we react and how we react, of course, defines us. But how we choose to take on a situation or how we choose to behave is us. That's what I want to talk to you about today. I know it sounds a lot and it sounds deep thinking, but it does make sense. Please stick with me. We choose to feel how we feel. Is that right or wrong? We choose the way we react to a feeling. Mm. I've been thinking about this a lot lately, that actually very often I overthink things. I overthink things to the extent where it starts to make me feel a little bit unwell, a little bit kind of anxious, but it's because of course I'm striving for perfection, I'm striving for success, and I'm aiming for the stars like we all should be. Um, now, when I say we are choosing how we react in a situation, of course I don't mean how uh, we are in terms of health, in terms of what happens to us, in uh, terms of unfortunate uh, events and of that type of scene. I don't want to cause offence to anybody. That's not my intention. I mean more to the point that when, for example, we're going for a job interview, or for example, uh, we have got something coming up um, that we think off the top of my head, if someone perhaps was getting married going ahead, uh, if somebody had um, financial issues over their, uh, over their head, um, or if somebody was going to be having a baby coming up soon, or, for example, trying to develop their career, or, of course, you've got something up, coming up just in everyday life which is causing you stress and a little bit of anxiety. How we choose to behave in situations and daily life, of course, defines us. If we uh, get given a compliment, how we react is huge. It's absolutely huge. Number one, it can actually make you as a person. Or number two, um, the opinion of that person, of course, can change quite dramatically. How we react, of course, and how we choose to behave is... Um, of course, can often build relationships. It can often break relationships as well. Often, I often uh, think to myself that um, the way in which sometimes I come across, I choose to uh, speak very correctly. I choose not to use slang terms. I choose not to swear. I choose to present myself very well and very smart, very well spoken. Sometimes how that's perceived can be a mixture of things. I've been accused of being stuck up. Um, being thinking that I'm it. Um, people have often actually even thought that just because of how I speak that I'm gay, which I'm not. And to be honest with you, I find that's really, really sad in this life that actually people are very, very quick to make assumptions just because of the choices which we make, which in actually matter of fact, uh, number one, have nothing to do really with anybody else. And number two, just a small thing can mean such a lot to somebody else. So choices. So for me, and why I wanted to do this clip was because often my choices actually end up ruining large parts of my day in terms of feeling worry in that something's going to go wrong or what if I'm not good enough, um, those type of things. Not to the point where it is detrimental to my mental health at all, um, but it is it sometimes restricts me for perhaps enjoying things. So for example, I often worry, and I, I have an interview coming up, um, and there's me worrying sometimes, or wondering rather, am I good enough? Or thinking to myself, um, am I in the right position for this? And it's almost me making up excuses to be able to sometimes harbour this constant cycle of kind of how we choose to behave in a certain situation. Now, do you know, what? when the interview comes, I'm very, very gifted in the fact that actually confidence seems to click straight in. It always happens in my interviews. And do you know what? Nine times out of ten, they go really, really well. And I'm hoping that this time it goes just as well. But of course, that's that choice. So, for example, I had an experience where actually the job I'm in now, um, when I went for the interview and I started this company I'm working for now, um, I wasn't anxious, I wasn't nervous, I was in a very good place in my life, but however health-wise, I wasn't, but career-wise, financially, all those type of things in life was going really great to me, but health-wise, I wasn't. And you know what? 
I always find there are influences what make us choose how we um, portray ourselves and how we act in a situation. So for me, going back to uh, the message when I was saying to you how I choose to come across and how I choose to speak very correctly um, and present myself and use manners and things, I absolutely have my parents and my amazing upbringing to thank to thank for that because very much in our household growing up it was very much that we had to speak correctly we had to use manners we had to act in a certain way with respect we were brought up with respect we were brought up in all those great things now i'm not saying that if somebody speaks slightly differently that they weren't in the same way that's not what i'm saying at all but what i'm saying is those influences what make us have those choices so for me, that's how I choose to come across. My twin brother, on the other hand, is equally is equally had the same upbringing and how he presents himself with copious amounts of confidence and sometimes doesn't choose the right words, you could say. Um, there we go. It's his choice. But for me, slightly different choices they have such an impact so much behind them so much in front of them and so much to offer and so much to gain and sometimes a little bit to lose from them as well. But in terms of what I was saying, the influence of how we we choose to be um, holds a huge, huge sort of array of what can lie ahead. So for me, going back to what I was saying, um, everything was great in my in my life at the time when I went for the job, but health wise, it wasn't. And you know, I walked in there and I thought to myself, well, what I, what I'm going through right now, do you know, what? I'm going to absolutely ace this because I'm going to choose to be confident in this because whatever they say to me in there, it's not going to make my situation any worse for what I've been through. And of course, life experience grows us as a person as well. And of course, influences our choices and how we come across in every situation in life. And I thought to myself, Do you know what? No, I've had a rotten few years. I'm going to go in here. I've got just as just as much. What's the word? Um, of a purpose, of a reason to be sat at that table is what you're on the opposite side. And I'm going to ace this. I'm going to show you all I can be and more. And you know what? I got the job. How we choose, okay, sometimes isn't always us. It's what influences us. But ultimately, I could have gone into that room and I could have chose to be absolutely a wobbling wreck. Or I could have chose to have just sat in self-pity and wallowed. Or I could have gone in there. I could have really tried to own the show. I could have really have gone in there with confidence, which I did. Um... And yeah, it's going, it's going well. Isn't it interesting that just how we can make one choice in a situation where it can lead to? Let's think about this in relationships. So relationships. So somebody can make a choice if they're in a bad relationship. They can make a choice to continue to carry on. They can also make a choice to part ways and to still be incredible people, good people. And they can, in a way, develop themselves. And in the end, you never ever know, their paths may cross again. In a good scenario, somebody can make a choice to be able to pursue their relationship onto the next level, to have children, to get married, to travel the world in harmony, you could say. To make a choice to do that and take that delve, that jump, or to stay comfortable, but yet equally have just as amazing life. Let's talk about this financially. Somebody could make the choice to make a bad financial decision and then live with the repercussions behind it. But yet, in the week leading up to that decision, something could have happened to them catastrophically, leading to that decision. So it's influencing their decision. However, if someone has not had that in their life and then they make a financial decision, yes, of course, it can still be the wrong one, but there has been nothing there to influence your choice. Choices every single day we make. Choices every single day are influenced by outstanding factors, by experiences we've gone through. It can be a whole host of all different things which can relate to that one choice, which can mean so much and have so much of effect, lasting effect, and in the end can quite honestly change your life. Let's just finish this one up on fear. So. This is one which has come into my mind pretty much recently, and uh, I can't remember where I, I, I heard it from, but we choose how we feel in a situation. Now, sometimes um, I'm going to share this with you and how we um, 
we where we go with our choices. Now, I had just had my operation last year. I had my groin reconstructed after a lot of failed operations and a lot of misery and a lot of pain, and I had my groin reconstructed. Now, my biggest fear going through that operation was that I was going to lose my nan because she was she had uh, Alzheimer's, nan had Alzheimer's, and she wasn't particularly well, but she was stable and she was still strong. But yet, I I knew in my own heart that even though I wanted her to live forever, that I knew that that couldn't be the case. If I had my way, she would still be here today, and I miss her every single day terribly, and it breaks my heart that she's not. I had my operation, and I was in a hospital, and then I think it was about two days, two, three days. Um, yeah, so it was the 20, 25th of May I had my operation. And then I came about. I came out of hospital. I think on the twenty seventh, and my nan uh, was taken ill on the thirtieth. So three days, and at that time I had developed uh, complications. And in those three days, I went back into hospital, um, and I also had a, a huge hematoma on my groin, um, full of gas and fluid and blood and pressure. Absolutely huge. The size of half a football, I want to say. And um, without going into the story, um, my nan became very, very unwell on this day, and she passed away on the 31st of May. I chose to act with strength. I could have quite easily have fallen to pieces. I chose to support the rest of my family. I chose to support my cousins, my uncles, my auntie. I chose to support and be there and hold my mum, my brothers. I chose to hold my nan's hand as I always have done throughout my life. And I chose to sit there and hold my nan's hand through everything up until she took her last breath. What we choose in this life is influenced by many things. Sometimes ultimately we're in control, sometimes we're not, sometimes head strength takes over. Bad things happen in this world all the time. I don't need to tell you that. How we choose to react to them, we can scream our heads off, we can shout, we can retaliate. But ultimately we should always try to act in the best possible way to act with strength, to act with dignity, to act with courage, and to think that actually, how would my person in my family want to be treated if they're going through that? When we make our choices, sometimes we must almost take ourselves out of the equation. With my nan, I took myself out of the equation. I didn't want her to be on her own. I didn't want my family to feel they were going through it on their own. I left the tears and the heartbreak to a little bit later on, I can assure you. I hope from what I've said and covered in this clip, you can really take away um, a lot of the messages which I've tried to convey in this. Choices. We think it's just a simple thing, but actually they're huge. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for sharing this. Until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.